Today on this Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make classic gingerbread cookies. This is always a must make recipe during the holidays. Nothing says Christmas more than gingerbread cookies. To start, you'll need six tablespoons of softened salted butter in the bowl of a mixer, and you'll need a quarter cup of brown sugar. You wanna cream this together. As written, this recipe makes about a dozen cookies, but it can easily be doubled or tripled. Next, then you'll add in one egg and a third a cup of molasses. When measuring sticky ingredients like molasses, it always helps if you spray your little measuring cup with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray before you put the sticky stuff in it. Then you'll need three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground allspice, and half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and that's all of our gingerbread flavoring. You'll also need half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and mix this all together. Stop and scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl as necessary to make sure that everything gets mixed in. Last, add in one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour and mix it all together. You should end up with a nice, thick dough. Then we're gonna lay out some plastic wrap. We'll scrape our dough out onto that plastic wrap and wrap it up tightly into a little ball. Then just pop this into the fridge for about an hour to harden up. Once your dough has firmed up, you'll wanna roll it out on a lightly floured surface until it's about a quarter inch thick. Then you use a cookie cutter to cut out your cookies. And of course, I'm using a little gingerbread man. And then place your cookies onto either a silicone lined baking sheet or a parchment lined baking sheet. You can gather up all your scraps and re-roll it out so that it's a quarter inch thick to get more cookies. Then we're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Let them cool on the pan for two minutes before transferring them to a wire rack to cool completely. Now, if you want to decorate them, you definitely can with royal icing. Just make sure that they are completely cooled before you try and decorate. Otherwise, your gingerbread man's face will just melt away. Now, royal icing does dry really quickly, so I like to use these little bags of royal icing because they're a lot easier to work with than trying to make it all from scratch, but you can definitely do that as well. Once you've had fun decorating them, well, they're ready to eat, even though it does seem a little cruel to just bite his head off, but. Here I go. Mmm. The cookies are soft. They're delicious. These are definitely a winner. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.